know we're going to be joined right now when you click the right button with Brad Shivey. Brad, can you hear us? Hey, good morning, Congressman. How are you? Hey, Brad, I'm doing great, buddy. How are you and Corky going this morning? <laughs> doing good. Cork's probably asleep, but uh, I'm driving my daughter down to the airport down in St. Louis, and uh, just glad to talk to you. Well, great to have you on, my friend. Uh, you and I have been friends for a long time, and maybe some of the listeners don't know this, but you were one of our guests at an event we had at Lewis and Clark Community College uh, last year, and it was with Ivanka Trump. And at that event, you laid out a program that you're doing through your local laborers hall to help prisoners get re-entered into the workforce. Can you tell the, tell the listeners a little bit about that? Yeah, so what I do, Congressman, is uh, we partner up with Higher Education from Lincoln Land Community College and their workforce development program. And we recruit females and minorities uh, from that program and try and get them placed and actively uh, hired and membership in one of the trade unions. Uh, what I do is I take it another step forward and I go to the women's institutions around our jurisdiction. And I go there and basically what I tell them is, listen, there is a path to success and the American dream after this. This is not the end all. When you get out, go to Springfield, go to uh, Lincoln Land Community College, get into the higher education program. You'll meet the business managers. You'll meet all the different organizations you can apply for. I have seen, I have seen uh, women get out of that institution, move to Springfield, get into higher education program at Lincoln Land, I see them when they graduate that program. I see them when they graduate our apprenticeship program. I see them when they get married, they get their kids back, they buy new homes. And I'd have to say, you know, I've been a business manager. I'm in my 18th year. It is something that I'm the most proud of because it is truly amazing to watch someone come from that to being one of our most uh, proactive and successful members. Well, you know what, Brad, you should be proud of that opportunity that you give so many folks around here. And I can tell you firsthand, Ivanka Trump was uh, was very impressed. After we were done with that event, she only asked me about one person and kept talking about uh, the remarks from one person that was on the panel, and that was you, my friend. Uh, we actually, again, talked about you at the Farm Bill signing at the White House just a few short months ago. Hey, uh, I- I've met some of those folks that uh, have gone through your program, be it up at the Laborers Training Facility over in Brown County and Mount Sterling, where I tried to get them to even make fun of you, and they wouldn't do it, man. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea why. Uh, but they are, they're impressed with your willingness to give them that second chance. And we hear a lot about second chances in politics and Second Chance Act that we work together uh, in a bipartisan way in D.C. to put into place to allow uh, felons to, to get a, a second chance at, at getting their record cleared. Hey, you've been doing this to get people into the workforce for years, and, and thanks for doing that. Now, we got also we also have to have them have jobs when they get that training that you were talking about. How important is infrastructure investment right now in Illinois? Well, I got to tell you, so in my industry, it's all about heavy and highway. Building construction, if you take a local union, and let's just say, Last year, we had 500,000 hours roundabout that we worked out of our local. We took 43 new members, 43 new members. Of those members, I would say 50% of that entire uh, new membership was minority and female. So that in itself is opportunity that's provided by those hours that is unmatched. But with that, if you have a local union in the construction industry, such as the laborers, the operating engineers, you have 100% employment on the buildings. Those hours pale uh, in comparison to heavy and highway work. Heavy and highway work, because of the nature of the work, you know, the lanes are shut down. They're usually six-day jobs. They're 12-hour days. Infrastructure is basically the heartbeat of the construction industry when it comes to hours work. But let me tell you, I've taken reporters to some of these bridges, and, you know, they talk about crumbling infrastructure. Well, let me tell you, I've been on some of these bridge decks where we're not even allowed to use anything heavier than a 40-pound jackhammer 
because it'll punch right through the deck. It will literally, you will start running the jackhammer, it crumbles, and you're looking at the at the uh, semis going under you. I've seen it. I've done it. These these bridges and these roads and these sewer systems were not made to last in perpetuity. They have to be uh, managed. They have to be upkept. And, you know, they're crumbling and they're falling apart. And when you go by a bridge and you see that they're doing a two-inch or three-inch you know, skim over the top of them, that's a Band-Aid, and that's a problem. And, you know, we have to have a comprehensive plan to fix these bridges and these roads and these sewer systems. We have sewer systems that are that are literally, you know, made out of brick that was hand-laid. These things have to be updated. Yeah, I mean, even Polly's not that old, buddy, when those things were laid. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, hey, you know, infrastructure is important, which is why, because of groups like yours that have supported people like me, I get a chance to be the lead Republican on our Highways and Transit Subcommittee this year, and I hope we can get a national infrastructure bill. Hopefully in Illinois they can do the same, buddy. Hey, you have a tremendous opportunity and a tremendous group of folks over at your hall. Say hi to them, please, and uh, give your daughter my best, and I hope you guys have a safe drive down there to St. Louis. Hey, I just appreciate the time, and it's great, uh, great to hear your voice, and I look forward to seeing you soon, Congressman. Absolutely, my friend. Take care.